Ja, Maike. Ja. Und ihr? Was ihr für Breakfast, Maike? Hot Cereal, Cold Cereal. Cold. Cold Cereal, you got it. See you downstairs. and it comes and then I go to Pontiac and then wait for that bus and then head to school. How long does it take? Uh, from here to Pontiac I probably get there around 8.20 and then from I do it till like 8.50 or 9 for the um, 7.56 and then I head to Oakland and I'll probably get there around 9.20 or like 9.22. How long have you been doing that? For on the last three years. Was it hard to figure it out? Uh, it was. It was hard for the first time, but after that, I got like, I got fine into it. do after they graduate high school, like, uh, go to college and, and do, like, um, college things. Micah's teacher, Sharon Burke, who I refer to as the teacher I waited my whole life for, um, she went with Micah and Rich yeah. to a college night at um, a school that served kids with learning disabilities. So they had various universities representatives there talking about, you know, what their university program was. And Sharon um, connected with someone from Oakland University and said, we have a young man with a cognitive impairment, you know, which is different than a learning disability. I always knew that Micah was interested in post-secondary education, specifically going to college. Um, he would talk about that all the time. And he was talking about that since he was in elementary school. So everybody always knew that. You don't expect to hear that from students with cognitive impairments. Unfortunately, you don't expect to. Um, and, and some people, even when they hear it, question it. But he always made that very clear. I was just, it never occurred to me that Michael would come to college because I thought about college as this is what you do to get uh, an advanced degree of some kind. And then the more I read and the more I talked to Rick and Janice about things, uh, they started talking about um, life choices and, if, and what's age appropriate. And if most 17 and 18 year old people that they knew were able to go on to public colleges, why wasn't Micah able to do that? And that argument started to make a lot of sense to me. Students with disabilities who reach a post high school age but who aren't able to earn a high school diploma are still entitled to educational services through the public schools and through the Oakland Intermediate School District. We teach over 150 courses every semester here and there are a lot of teachers that are working with this department. So that meant that we were able to provide places where Micah could be what they called a guest student meaning that he wasn't actually in the courses for grades, but that he participated as any other member of the class. And that's worked out really well. I think he's been in about six of our courses, maybe more. So when we say short declarative statements, do they have to be full sentences? No. Yeah. Micah, your movie's 
Home Alone 1 or 2? Home Alone 1. What's your thesis statement? Uh, it's a good, uh, it's a good uh, family film. Okay, it's a good family film. All right, Micah took my group dynamics and communication course. I may have modified it somewhat, but not so significantly that he couldn't do it. For example, he had to take his midterm exam orally, but he received the third highest grade in the class. So he, he answered the same questions that everyone else did. What's another thing that they do? When we talked about Home Alone, we said it's both fun and... Scary. So parents try to do what? Keep you what? Safe. All right, it's done. <laughs> no, it isn't. Now you have to make write the statement. Do you understand? Okay. Write the statement now. If you need, if you have any questions, you let me know. Thank you. Bye. Have a nice weekend. Week. Thanks. This is Oakland University, and uh, here's where I take my classes and where I have my job site. Wait. Watch out. Hi. I like I like uh, check in first and then I see what they need uh, help with and stuff. And then I sometimes clean the boards and I, I can like show you what I do sometimes. And then go from there. In the in that place, before you put something on here, like a like a um like a fly or something, you, you, you have to uh, stamp it to to like uh, know it's a uh, good thing to have on on, on here. the students in this group are perfectly capable of moving around the campus, going to class, are members of various clubs, they participate in social activities, they go to the basketball games, they eat lunch in the Oakland Center, and all of these things are working to the benefit of both the individual with a disability and for the general population who comes to recognize that we can all support each other in a way without having to be threatened by individuals who might seem a little different from ourselves. Here's the uh, cafeteria. And here's where I eat lunch sometimes. I'm a social worker with Macomb Oakland Regional Center. Um, Micah is a client of mine and our agency works with uh, increasing independence for developmentally disabled adults and children um, and advocating for their rights in their community. And then, can we like pick like three days to meet on um, next um, month. Mm -hmm, we sure can. And I can share them with my teacher. Nate and Amanda are community living support staff and what community living support staff is is that they um, they basically support our clients on in community based activities that increase their level of independence, give them a sense of belonging. Um, we chose to have staff from uh, Oakland University because Micah spent so much of his time there. 
So to have um, students, fellow students, that can actually work with him on campus activities um, gives him a sense of belonging at school. Nate and Amanda were just talking about the first two uh, Thursdays of the mm -hmm. month. Did Amanda talk to you about that? Uh, it was kind of hard the first couple of weeks. And like, I just felt like, like we were going like, kind of like, like saying, huh, I'm paying them to take me to a college basketball game. And, and like, I, I like shit this and um, have them this, like, take me for fun, but, but they probably like the um, cash and, and it's probably like, a nice thing to like have someone to uh, hang out with than having my parents drive me all the way out there and then uh, wait until the wait until the a game is over to have me to have them take me home and stuff. Basically, we did uh, Micah's plan of service meeting last month. So I always meet with the staff the following month to do a little bit of training on goals, show them what our expectations are of what they need to be documenting and what they need to be doing with Micah um, so that I can kind of keep track of where he is in terms of the goals we've set up. And these are the goals here that we pretty much went over today and it was increasing community social integration um, and also his reading program, improving his reading skills. It does surprise people when they learn that Micah can't read. Um, the, he's, he's very conversant and you know, public speaking, and he, he asks thoughtful questions of people, but they they are they are amazed that he doesn't well, read. Mean, he but listens. He listens to the radio. He listens to the news. He reads. The, listens to the computer, so he knows about the world. Right. I, mean, I, I like uh, speaking to the computer, and uh, sometimes it comes out good, and uh, sometimes it comes out like in poetry. Rachel. Thank you for coming next Friday to the Student Leadership Retreat. Thank you for coming next Friday to this Student Leadership Retreat. Good. Retreat. Retreat. Copy. Paste. Hi, Rachel. Thank you for coming next Friday to this student leadership retreat. Some of the times I just copy words from from my email to to a another email. So tell me what you did with retreat. Uh, I, I I like saw the I like saw the um word up. I saw like the. Word up there, and I just um, and and like I just um, copied it. I know. Alright, I I will talk to you later. Right. I'm going to see my friend. Um, my. My friend Amanda and we're going to hang out. So she's at home with the baby and mice. Right. See, look at the picture. H U N G R Y. Mm. What is that? Huh? What is that? That's the word we already said. Hungry? Mm hmm. Mice. No. Mother, mice, mother, mouse, mouse. Right. Thank you, father, mouse, way, father, mice, mouse, mouse. So you learned a new word today, which is the word brave, right? Oh, the places, yeah, go, yeah, what? Moving. Mm -hmm. Mountains. When Michael was in first grade, he was in what was called 
the Opportunity Room, which was a segregated classroom. And he was mainstreamed in for art and gym class. And he came home one day, and this is a true story, and he said, I want to go in the same door as all my other friends. Because when he was in special ed, he went in a different, you know, door. And that, that said it all. I just felt like, like it's, it's great hanging out with other, like other, like, I just special other kids, but I just like hanging out with other kids that don't have like uh, special needs. It's good for other students to have the experience, the um, privilege of having a student like Micah in their class because he's their peer, he's their neighbor, he's a community member. Um, if nothing else, it's showing that everyone is important to us, everyone belongs. Circle of Friends is a group that started in, yeah, I think in, I think third grade, and it's kids who, like, got picked to hang out with me. Circle of Friends was a small group of typical students who were going to work together to help Micah be included in the normal everyday curriculum of, uh, you know, of a public school, and we set out by just meeting once a week and discussing my, you know, what Micah was doing that week, what he was going to do the next week, if he needed help and where he needed help and who and how they would help him. And it actually evolved into a, where we weren't just a support group for Micah, we were a support group for each other. I can't say I had any situations where a teacher didn't feel confident that they could have him in the class. And he had a paraprofessional, he had support, um, and that's a school staff person, but we also had a link program. And that's a program where students in the school would earn credit by providing support. I met Oliver in my sophomore year of high school. He was a senior, I was a sophomore, and he just got picked to be a link student. He always says that he only has four friends that I uh, still call him, and I'm like, I, I'm, I'm like one of the friends on his, uh, on his uh, list. Micah and Oliver would speak on the phone on a regular basis when he was in school, in college. Micah went up to visit him at college, and then most recently went to Chicago on his own. Uh, he took the took the plane from uh, from Detroit to Chicago, and Oliver picked him up at the airport, and they spent a number of days together. Um, and Oliver is now a teacher um, who has a special education student in his classroom, as well as a great picture of Micah in his classroom. When I gave Micah a senior picture, I said, hey, you have taught me so much. And you may not realize how much you've taught me, but you've taught me a ton. We're here today, four or five years later, and um, Micah's in my classroom as I'm a teacher. We, we've remained friends throughout this time period. I went into this looking for easy credit and I left it um, gaining a very close friend, a, a best friend. Mike and I are, are a product of what inclusive ed education is. I think we're, we're a product of what it's meant to be. Um, we're still friends and Mike is friends with some people that I know still. Um, perhaps, I, I don't know Mike, are you friends with anybody from that freshman science class? Yeah. You're not, and but you're friends with me still. And I think that's 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 what it is right there. Is on um, this links program, this inclusive education program worked, and the fact that I am Micah's friend now, and we can spend time together. And we'll talk on the phone. Micah has taught me to love and accept everybody. He does that to to every single person. I've never seen Micah not love somebody. Um, he'll say hi. We were just walking through Target, and. Um, and we're walking by somebody and Micah says hi to him. And I noticed that because uh, I know that there's so many of my friends that would never do that. That would never say hi to somebody, somebody that they never knew. And Micah continues to, to do those things. And that challenges me to be friendly, to say hi, to love everybody I see. <laughs>
you could say Oliver was one of my links, and then you know I taught him about teaching, mm -hmm. and then I think it's good. Mm -hmm. What do you think? You, we are yeah. still friends. I think that's a good one. We're looking over Micah's PowerPoint that he just presented in Oklahoma at their state conference for teachers and parents. And um, we're going to review it for the presentation that he's doing tomorrow at Eastern Michigan University to see if it fits, to see if there's anything that we take out or add. We're having other people part of the presentation tomorrow. It's a teacher from high school, a professor from the university, a person of his peer who is part of um, was part of the circle of friends and a sister. So Can I just tell you something like right. that? Not to change your mind about going to Claire's about this, but, but um, for her, the camp for the candle song. Yeah. You know, she's gonna, she was debating between our life is more than our work for our family, Charlie and people you. like you help people oh. like we go on. Oh. Okay. I don't know. That means you have to help with the video for her, so then she. Mm. So you're there just like I had to do that for your graduation. You have to do that. Oh, yeah. In middle school, I didn't want to do things with yeah. Mike, and I wanted to be more separate, and I didn't like I would make sure I'd go over to my friend's house as opposed to them coming here. So there are parts like that, but now, um, like my parents are gone the other night, and Mike and I, Mike had to tell me when I had to stop, take a break from my homework, and we went out and played basketball. And the, in the beginning, he was a little like looking all over the place and didn't really want to be playing basketball. And then I kind of like give him this, you're, I like, you're my other brother, you have to push me around, you gotta make some baskets. Who am I gonna look up to if you don't make the baskets? So it pushes him to like try harder. And then I get the outcome of like the older brother that I want, and we have a lot of fun. Uh, Look, don't I, forget I, to. I, I, I like. Um, I'm trying to think how, uh, how to like um, pump up the uh, group. <laughs> oh, you're trying to think about how to pump up the group. Okay, <laughs> what could you do? Say, uh, uh, eh, eh, it's too early in the morning. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hi, I'm Micah. Uh, it's a Saturday morning. I, I like would uh, I, I would uh, rather uh, sleep in. That that's great. <laughs> Do you think everybody can relate to that? Yes, I think so too. That's very good. Hi, I'm Micah. Um, call the workshop for twelve next time. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. <laughs> in first grade, I told my parents I wanted to go on the same trip as my friends, and that like I started me happy with my friends and my peers. One community that excludes one uh, person is not a community at all. Dream big and um, call me. I'm kind of uh, I packed it with to to like um to like um May or something. Call me and I'll check my calendar. And thank you. I was happy to um um uh, try to uh, try to uh, get up at six, but um could uh, next year be uh, have 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 it at twelve o'clock. <laughs> Never made much money. I live my life on hold. The moment that I met you, honey. Everybody knows you're my magic carpet, you're my Midas touch, you're the one I count on in the clutch, you mean so much. When the good Lord made you, he must have broke the mold, I'd be a fool to trade you, honey, I struck gold. Some people want to tell you all the answers They talk too long and loud Whether we're alone or in a crowd You make me so proud Nights kept getting longer Days kept getting cold 
Now I'm getting stronger, honey. I struck gold. I want to tell you that I struck gold. Everybody knows I struck gold.